Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of discussion is beta-2 agonists used as bronchodilators. The beta-2 agonists work through the beta receptors which are G protein coupled receptors. They increase the cyclic AMP which causes muscle relaxation. The increase in cyclic AMP decreases the inflammatory mediators, decreases the bronchial secretions. So, you can uh, go through this uh, picture. Salbutamol activates the beta receptors, activates the adenyl cyclase, increases cyclic AMP that causes bronchodilation. Parallelly, it decreases the mucal, mucosal congestion via alpha receptors, increases the mucociliary clearance. Apart from this, it decreases the increase in cyclic AMP also decreases inflammatory mediators from the mast cells. So, sympathomimetic drugs which stimulate the GPCRs activate adenyl cyclase, increase cyclic AMP, cause bronchial smooth muscle relaxation and thus causes bronchodilation. The list of drugs in this category include short-acting drugs, salbutamol otherwise called as albutrol, terbutrin, terbutalin, levalbutrol, pirbutrol, bilotrol which is a prodrug which is activated to colitrol, phenotrol, Procatirol and isotharin. The long acting drugs are salmetrol, formetrol, arfometrol, carmotrol, bambutrol. It is a pro drug of terbutylene, olodactrol, indactrol, and vilantrol. The last three drugs, olodactrol, indactrol, and vilantrol, are used once daily. So, to remember these drugs, long acting drugs, you remember the metro trains run for a a longer distance so wherever the meter comes metero comes you remember it as long acting so two things you remember salmetrol it is long acting since it starts with the letter s you just remember it is slow acting and long acting formatrol on the other hand it is fast acting and long acting so short acting beta 2 agonists are called saba when inhaled as pressurized emitted dose inhalers or dry powder inhalers, they are convenient, easy to use and rapid in onset. Uh, Saba are the bronchodilators of choice in treating acute severe asthma. Saba should be used as required and not on regular basis in the treatment of mild asthma. Increased use of use requirement indicates the need for more anti-inflammatory therapy that is inhalation corticosteroids. Overall slow release preparations may be indicated in nocturnal asthma. Let us see the long acting uh, beta 2 agonists. They are LABA. These drugs have bronchodilator action for more than 12 hours and more effective than SABAS. Formatrol has a rapid onset of action and is an almost full agonist whereas Salmetrol is a partial agonist with a slower onset of action. In the chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, LABA are effective bronchodilators that may be used alone or in combination with anticholinergics or inhalation corticosteroids. LABA should never be used alone because they do not treat the underlying chronic inflammation and this may increase the risk of life-threatening and fatal asthma exacerbations. Let us see the adverse effects of a beta-2 agonist. One is muscle tremor. It is a direct effect of uh, the beta-2 agonist on the skeletal beta-2 receptors. Next is tachycardia, direct effect on the beta-1 receptors. Reflex effect from the increased peripheral vasodilation via beta-2 receptors in the blood vessels. Metabolic effects include increase in free fatty acids, glucose, lactate, pyruvate and insulin. Hypokalemia may occur because uh, uh, when it acts on the skeletal muscles, it increases the uptake of uh, potassium, restlessness, hypoxemia, there is a ventilatory perfusion ratio is mismatched and reversal hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction may occur. And tolerance may occur and there is one polymorphism if this polymorphism is uh, present, it uh, causes uh, tolerance that is ADR uh, beta 2 polymorphism that decreases the number of receptors that is decreasing the receptor beta 2 receptor reserve. 
So it's a very short information of the beta 2 agon is used as uh, bronchodilators. I hope uh, it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel for further updates. Series of videos uh, are available uh, related to the respiratory tract and other uh, pharmacology topics and uh, cell biology topics in the Pharma Topics channel. Kindly make use of it. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Thank you.